So, so we have an electrical device. Hey, if Carlos, are you at the that was, that was found attached to his arm. It delivers a shock to the horse and gives him a little extra boost. Is okay, that what you're... Um, Carlos, yeah, it's a guy with the In August of 2023, Rio Doso Downs police were called to the Rio Doso Downs racetrack in regards to a horse racing jockey being caught with an illegal device. Police found jockey Hector Alderate Bizcari in the locker room with fellow jockeys. Yeah. Yep. Did you hear about Trotter's horse? Okay. All right, let me take care of this. I'll give you details later. Right. That Trotter's horse laying down out yeah. there. That bit. Flipped over in the paddock. Broke something? Yeah, I guess. It's a dude dead right there. It's, still, it's still breathing. Oh, really? Yeah. What we got is before this last race, uh -huh. we're standing there, and the state investigator goes, that's one of my targets. And we see him exchange, and him put it, a machine, electrical device, and it's a felony. Do you know the section by chance? She's know. got it. Do you have a statute book? I don't. I can look at it online. Okay. Where is it? She'll got, get it. We'll get it. Tank? You might want to stand here. Just put your neck and men running around in there. You might want to wait up here with a bunch of naked little men running around in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you want. He got him to change? Huh? He had the guy to change? Yeah. Electrical device. Hey, if Carlos, are you at the that was, bar? that was found attached to his arm? It delivers a shock to the horse and gives him a little extra boost. Is okay, that what you're... Um, Carlos, it's a guy with the two okay. horses by needs statute. A rider. You know the statute number by chance? I'll give you my business card. I have it in my backpack, which is not with me. That'll work. Okay. So, um, he's sitting right over there. Which one? The one with the blue hat there? Yes. Yeah. So. Um, this is his Riders. second time I've caught him. I mean, You're not after, you late! So, really? Yeah. And last time he stole the evidence. <laughs> yeah, it's a long story. But anyway, um, I guess I need to hear, I'll sign this, but I was trying not to shock myself, so it, it? It, it leaves you feeling like you've been electrocuted for a little bit oh, if really? you touch it, so I'm just telling you to be careful. Okay. So it's not a pleasant feeling. Okay. It, does it not turn off? No. As long as you're not pushing that plunger down, it won't get you. Which, no. Now, which plunger are we talking about here? Oh. These. So, and if you, I can... If you, if you, if you touch them at the same time or something? That, if you push them in, yeah. yeah. So, listen. I, I hear it. So, it's active. I don't know. Sign it over to you. I don't know the exact. I mean, horse racing is in 60-1A, but then you have it also falls into 30 dash. Okay. Um, all right, I will take it and let me get let me get him first. Okay. You got anything on you? What legal, illegal weapons? Anything? No. Turn around. Turn. Face away. You got any knives? The keys for no. the car. Keys for the car. Yeah. Okay.
Uh, do me a favor. Take your spurs off. Sit. Take your spurs off. Okay. Is this your locker? Yes. That's where they're going. Stand up, turn around, face away. Put your phone back in this. Yeah, you can put it in. Does he does he want you to have it? Yes. Are you good? Okay, that's fine. Let me just grab it right away and... Do you speak uh, English at all? A little bit? A little bit? Okay. Okay, come on. Let's go. Anybody in here want to pick up a horse in the last parade? That's me. That's you, okay. And here, give me a, uh, here, hang on. I would give her your card and then you call him as soon as you get it. That's my cell right there. Okay. All right, I'll go in there and get it right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, perfect. All right. And you're the one who actually saw. All right. And that was just, was that just prior to a race? Yes, I saw the owner who we admitted to, and then I went and I had Ron and the owner. Like, she's not my answer. And where is the owner? What do you know the owner's name by chance? Okay. I'll show you here in a second. Hold that and do not touch that thing in the bag because it's electric. It's a it's a shocker that that juices horses to go faster. And if you push down two of the plungers, it'll. Watch out for your head. Huh? Watch out for your head. Yeah. If you if you if you push the two plung the. See those two metal plungers right there? If you push them down, it will zap the balls off of you. <laughs> so it gives it juice to go? Juice to go. I mean, it doesn't turn off. Every time he hits the horse with it, it... So... Can you pass it on to a jockey or what? Uh, the owner... The owner passed it on to the jockey. And they caught him before he went out for the race. And he had, he had it concealed underneath his sleeve of his shirt. So we don't know. I don't know yet. I'm gonna. Have, she's gonna call me with the owner's info. I'm gonna try to get the. I don't know what the section is for the for that. It's a fourth degree felony. What is it? Huh? No, no, no. It's like uh, it's, it's some kind of gambling statute to where. Or, or, yeah, I can't remember. Here, uh, what? Yeah. Just, what? just look it up there. It's my statue there. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't. Oh. I'll, I'll look at it later. She's gonna the the gal, the state, the state investigator. Yeah. She's a 
State Chief Investigator. She's the one who actually saw it, so I'm gonna go get watch just watch him. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on his air in the back so he's not cooking. They go. They're outside on the floor. All right. You got the owner info yet? Um, Lisa will have all that stuff. She gonna where she she's uh, looking into it all now? Yeah, she's at the test barn. If you go, uh, just outside the tunnel. Go outside the tunnel, take a left, but fenced in thing. Yeah. Go in the, on the other side, the door. She, she I don't know. Uh, there was a horse laying down over there having some issues, so I didn't want to mess with it. Yeah. And that's the that was the race. Yep. Tenth race, first door. You can keep that. It's good. There's okay. your owner. I'll, I'll put it in his evidence then. There's your owner. You can just keep that. Carlos Octavio Alvarez Jr. and Manuel. Which one was the? There's two owners. Which one was? They're co-owners. I uh, don't know which one was. Lisa, actually I can tell you that. Okay. I didn't know his name. I didn't know who he was. See the. They shouldn't, be able, they shouldn't be allowed to shake hands and do all that kind of stuff when they come out here. Well, when they go to the paddock, yeah, they do. But it's not, they need to go straight for the doors. But these guys hanging around right here. But they're like, can you not handcuff them? There's too many people. I said, no, we're handcuffing them. <laughs> <laughs> you make an example? Nah, it'll send a message. Yep. <sighs> all right, as soon as I get a call from her, I'll, I'll you charge her. Run down there. She should have it by the time you get there. All right, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll meet her over there. All right, see y'all later. All right, thank you, thank sir. You, thank you. I appreciate thank it. You. See ya. All right. I'm going to go down to the... There's like a little fenced-in area over here. Apparently, this was the 10th race, first, first horse. He lost Huh? He didn't run. They caught him before he ran. Oh, they, oh, they, ran. they caught him. They caught him before he ran. I'm gonna go. There's a. As soon as you go through the tunnel on the left hand side where the horse is in distress, right there. Uh, with, there's an area right there where she's at. That's all right. So here is, um, it's in 31. This is the charging section. Okay. So, do you want to take a picture of it? Violate. Ooh, okay. Nice, huh? Yeah. So, and as soon as I get a chance, I will get Mr. Castellano's um, identification for you. Okay, yeah. It's from they gave Arizona. Me. So. Uh, they gave me a, a racing form and it had two owners listed. Okay. Um, one was, I think, I want to say Castro or something along those lines. But anyway, uh, if you, you got my cell, if, as soon as you get the owner identified, let me know and I'll, okay. I'll uh, add it to the report and I'll, I'll swear out a warrant for him if I can get his, 
his ID. If I can yeah, find I just want to make sure that when I look him up, that it's the person that I saw right. in the paddock. So okay, uh, but uh, yeah, it was it, it was a clean. It was so clean. You actually saw him pass it, and then he put it on and tucked well, it under his shirt. I didn't see him put it on because he went around the corner, and so then I had Ron and Mark behind me. I said, "Search him," because usually I have a wand, but right. um, the my I'm training somebody, and he has it in his truck, and he's not here. And um, so I said, "Just search him." <laughs> right. So, so Mark and Mark and so Ron, Ron found it. Ron searched him, and um, before we told him to leave it on because I wanted to get a picture of where it was, uh -huh. and he wouldn't do it. He just kept, you know, getting rid of it. Right. You know, and um, so. Okay. But this is my second time with this. So guy. it was Ron that was searching him. Yeah, Ron did the search. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thank you. All right, I got the charge. So we're gonna flip around and go that way. Where? Back in there? Out, no out. It, uh, it is. It could be animal cruelty too, right? Cause it's like pretty much tasering. This is the one that they want to charge. Well, you could do. Um, uh, 31-18-15. Actually, 60-1A-25, violations of the Horse Racing Act. 60-1A-25. Take a look. I'll look at them both in the station on the computer. Um, hang on a second. All right, what happened was, well, she saw the owner of the team, of the horse he was riding, hand, hand him, the jockey, this electric device that's illegal and shocks the horse to make it perform better. Um, the owner then s split while he went around the corner out of sight. And then he came back around. The state investigator <coughs> said, hey, you need to search. Told Ron, burn him. You need to search him. So Ron searched him. And he's trying, he, while he was searching him, he was trying like mad to get that electric thing off of his wrist. So Burnham retrieved it from him. And that's what he possessed was that this electric device, which is illegal, which is a fourth degree felony in this state. So when you, if you take him into the cell, we'll get all his property off of him. And if you can just Mirandize him in Spanish and ask him what happened, who the owner is, all that kind of crap. Come on up. Oh, I'm sorry. He's got the, <laughs> I made him safe. That's locked, I'll unlock it. Hello. All your plates in the face and then can't say plate, but all your plates in okay. normal. No. Okay, swing around, help all uncuff them. I have to take his belt off in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. I got a plate right here and everything. You have a pro? Yeah, in the face. Thank you. 
Yeah. Now I'm gonna go. Quite a little change here, you know. Yeah. Huh? And then. Uh, How many years? Yeah. 10 years? There you go. Oh, 10 years ago. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He was charged with a felony, a violation of the New Mexico Horse Racing Act, and his trial is pending. 